Hello, this is Kevin Bowersox, creator of the blog Two Thought. In today's tutorial, we will explore how to model self-referencing relationships using JPA. Self-referencing relationships are used to model data that has a relationship to itself. The employee manager example is the classic model used for demonstrating a self-referencing relationship. You can find many articles and examples on the web that will explain this relationship through the employee manager example. In today's tutorial, however, we will use a slightly different problem domain, uh, but the same concepts of a self-referencing relationship will apply to the problem uh, we're trying to solve. If you would like to follow along during this tutorial, uh, you can view the, you can download the initial source code from GitHub. Uh, by clicking this GitHub link in the article. And if you'd like to view the completed source code, you can always click the GitHub icon below the post. So to begin, let's quickly look at our data model uh, in our MySQL database. And today's problem, uh, we're going to work with authors. And an author can create a post for our blog, but an author can also sponsor other authors. Uh, so if we look further into this table, um, we'll see that there are several columns that correspond to that. We have the author ID, the first and last name of the author, and the author's organization. And then we also see this sponsor ID column. And the sponsor ID column will actually reference the author ID because one author can sponsor many authors. And when we have the sponsored author, we can look at the sponsor ID to determine which author sponsored the author we are looking at. Uh, so this is a self-referencing relationship. Uh, because an author can be sponsored by an author. Uh, so the foreign key sponsor ID actually points to the primary key of the table it's contained in. And that's how we get the self-referencing relationship. So let's move to STS and we'll begin to put that table into our object model and we'll create a new class in our entities package. We'll call it author. And within author, we'll create a new integer author ID, a new string first name, a new string last name, and then a new author named sponsor. Okay. Then we'll start to apply our JPA mappings, the first one being at entity, the second one being table, and we'll specify the name of the table. Oops. We'll import those annotations. We'll add the ID annotation. We want to specify that this is a generated value. We'll import those and we'll give it the identity strategy and now we need to specify the name of the column import that annotation and now we're going to add another column annotation Okay, whoops. And now we get down to our first object uh, that is contained within this entity. And it is the sponsor, which is of type author. And one sponsor may sponsor many authors. So this is a many to one relationship. And we will also define our join column on this attribute. Okay, 
Uh, so now we can join to the sponsor. So let's create some accessors. Okay, we'll format that. Let's just take a quick look at everything. So we have column names for everything. We have our generated value annotation. And then we have our sponsor mapped using a many to one annotation because one sponsor can sponsor many authors. And we specify our join column, just like any of our other joins. Uh, so now the author can point to its sponsor, which is author, also of type author. Um, so let's now look at making a test for this, and then we'll come back and expand upon this. So we can move to our test package. Oh, I'm sorry. The first thing we need to do is actually create a repository. And we need to extend the JPA repository for spring data, specify that it's an author, give the type of the key. We'll import author. So we have our repository created. Now we can move on to our test and create a new JUnit test. Oops, that's not what I want. Okay, and still put some things in there I did not want. Now we need to add some annotations. Normally I just copy these, but now eh, we'll try it differently today. Sometimes I just like to see how well I remember these. And I cannot remember where the context configuration pointed to. So we'll just grab that from another test. Okay, so we have Spring all set up for our test. And now our first test we're going to call insert test. We will need access to the repository. So we will auto wire that in. Okay. And now the first thing we'll do is create an author. And let's call this the sponsor. And we'll import author. So I will be the sponsor. Okay. And we'll set the organiz so we created a new sponsor and now let's look at creating the sponsored author Okay, so we have our sponsored author, and now we need to create the link between the sponsor and the sponsored author. So we just set the sponsor.
and we will now save the sponsor I'm sorry we will save the sponsored author and from there we can get the author from the database we'll check that it is not null and we'll check that the sponsor is not null I spelled something wrong there There we go. Okay. We just need to do some more imports. So we have a test here. Um, it's going to create a sponsor and a sponsored author. Um, we set the sponsor of the sponsored author and then we save it uh, via our repository and then we test uh, that it actually comes out of the database just looking at this I noticed one mistake I made and that's that we need to cascade We need to cascade when we uh, save to the sponsor. When we save the author, we want to cascade and save the sponsor at the same time. So let's run our test. We'll see what happens here. Okay, everything's green. That's good. So let's quickly jump over to the database. We'll make sure the records made it into the table. All right. Okay. So we see that the Kevin Bowersox record was inserted into the author table and also a record for Joe Schmo was also inserted into the author table. And we see Joe Schmo's sponsor ID points to the primary key of Kevin Bowersox's record in the author table, uh, which indicates that Joe Schmo was sponsored by Kevin Bowersox. So we're going to look at one more example once I clear out this table. Okay. All right. So in many of our other posts, uh, we made relationships bi-directional. Uh, you'll notice here we only have, in the, what well, in the author entity, we only have a many-to-one relationship mapped. In a lot of our other uh, tutorials, we would always create the bi-directional side, so we'd make the one-to-many side and that would be in a different entity because usually we weren't joining the same entity to itself or creating a relationship between the same entity and itself. Uh, when we're working with a self-referencing relationship we need to establish the bi-directional part of that relationship uh, within the same entity. So we are going to add a list of authors and we're going to call this sponsored authors okay 
So within our author entity, we just added a new field, sponsored authors, which is of type list author. And now we need to annotate that. We know it's a one to many. And since the other side of the relationship um, is acting as the owning side, since it has the join column, uh, we simply import the one to many and then we specify the mapped by field. So when we try to identify the authors to put in this list, we will look to use the mapping on the sponsor field, which will tell us our join column is the sponsor ID. Now we need to create accessors for this field. Okay, it's going to format the class. We'll save that and let's head back to our test. So now we need to manage both sides of the relationship. So we get our list uh, from, I'm sorry, the list from the sponsor and we get the list of authors he's sponsored and then we add the sponsored author. And at this point we can save the entity and let's pull back now the sponsor okay and I cannot type today once again and we'll just check that this size is greater than zero Okay. So we just added the sponsored author to the list of authors that the sponsor sponsors. <laughs> A little bit confusing. Um, and then we pulled the sponsor to or from the database after it should get inserted through the cascade and we just want to check to make sure that the sponsored author does indeed get pulled back uh, through the bi-directional piece of the relationship. So we run the test. Okay, everything appears to have worked. Let's head over to the database and we'll do one more check. Okay, and we see our mapping is properly created. Uh, Joe Schmo, sponsored by Kevin Bowersox. That sums up today's tutorial. Um, I hope it gave you a good introduction into self-referencing relationships and how to model them within JPA. Um, they're very close to pretty much any other relationship uh, that we have worked with. Uh, you'll notice it's just that the uh, the relationships are defined uh, in the same entity. Um, you know, it's nothing that we haven't worked with before. It's the many-to-one annotation and the one-to-many annotation. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, until we meet again.